Good day, dear friends. Um, today we will talk about admission uh, for this year in Prago of Russian National Research Medical University. Let me introduce myself. My name is Belova Nadezhda. I'm Dean of International Medical School and Head of Admission Board uh, of our university. So from the very beginning we will uh, solve all your problems and answer all your questions about admission. Uh, let me introduce our reactor, Sergei Lukyanov. Uh, he's a specialist in biology, and as all persons in the university, we all are open for any question from your side. Uh, Pirogov uh, Russian National Research University, uh, it is one of the oldest medical schools in Russia. We have a lot of students for high medical school, postgraduates, and uh, um, a lot of international students students today. We have international students from more than 60 countries. Of course, we are um, in uh, international ranking system, but uh, I need to mention that we are not classical university. We are a medical university, so in some situations we have limitations to reach high levels in um, international ranking systems. Uh, to talk about university, I need to talk about students' organization, a lot of art and creativity, sport, fitness, tourism, soft skills, uh, student scientific society uh, for all fields of medicine, uh, blood donation and the tutor school. Uh, I need to mention that uh, uh, Tutor school will help you uh, for all questions, how to live in university, how to live in hostel, how to uh, and where to buy food, uh, how to use timetable and so on and so on. But additionally, we have pro professional tutors to help you with difficult disciplines such uh, anatomy and histology. Uh, of course, we have a public opinion research center where you can uh, vote for some changes uh, in university and if uh, your arguments will be okay, um, changes will be uh, initiated by you. Uh, to talk about our um, programs, uh, we have bachelor and specialty degree programs and most of our programs are specialty degree because uh, we have no possibility according to our educational law to split medical education to bachelor and master degree. So for uh, most of our programs, um, Duration of training will be six years, but for dentistry and pharmacy five years, for clinical psychology five and five years. Uh, for several programs, we have uh, opportunity to um, provide you education in English. Uh, it is general medicine, dentistry and biology uh, bachelor degree profile by medicine, but for general medicine and dentistry, you need to understand that from the fourth course, you will deal with real patients in real hospitals and all patients all over the world ill in their own language. So uh, if you want to be excellent or good students uh, from the fourth year, you need Russian language. And for all programs for international students, we, we provide uh, Russian language for the first three years with two exams uh, to prepare you for the contact with patients. Uh, additional uh, interest for our university may be in double degree programs. Uh, we have two double degree programs, one in general medicine with the Italian University of Perugia, six years uh, duration of training, uh, three years in our university, two and a half uh, in uh, Perugia and uh, the last half uh, year in our university. And uh, the second program, Biology Profile Biomedicine, uh, our partner, University of Turin, also from Italy, four years uh, whole uh, training period, three and a half in our university and one semester in Turin. Um, all education for double degree uh, in English, 
but for general medicine, of course, for two and a half years you will meet patients in Italy, so you need Italian language, and for general medicine, double degree program, as foreign language, we provide you Italian language with Italian uh, teachers. Uh, for double degree programs, we have additional requirements for admission. It is IELTS uh, academic level, uh, no less than 5.5, and uh, IMAT or BMAT exam uh, from Cambridge. And IMAT or BMAT depends on the year and on the decision of Cambridge. Uh, IELTS you can um, pass wherever you want. IMAT or BMAT in our university in September each year, Cambridge. Uh, organize this exam. We have three master degree programs, medical bioinformatics, management of social process and project, and clinical psychology in the health and care system. Uh, training period two years and medical bioinformatics may be in Russian or in English. A lot of programs of clinical residency, something about 60. I will not uh, talk about all of them exactly, but you need to know that uh, most of period of time uh, for training for clinical residency programs you will spend in hospitals with real patients, with uh, doctors in hospitals and all other medical staff. And of course, all these programs are in Russian. And if you want to apply for residency programs, you need to uh, have good level of Russian language or you need to pass preparatory course of Russian. Uh, clinical residency have a, a training period for two years and we now have no possibility to prolong this period so if you need more time to be in residency to uh, get a license in your country for uh, as a doctor you need to choose or two residences or other way of preparing. PhD programs. A lot of programs, most of them, of course, in clinical medicine. Some of them are for chemistry, fundamental medicine, pharmacy, uh, health science, bio biology science, and so on. Some uh, of programs for three years, some for four. It depends on um, not on university, but on Ministry of Ed Education in our country. Uh, most of PhD programs are in Russian, but now we have some experience how to prepare international students for PhD programs and how to um, uh, get the last and, the, uh, and to complete all documents in English. Uh, it is difficult, but it is possible. Uh, our university located in the very, very good uh, part of Moscow, and I hope you know that Moscow one of the really brilliant towns of uh, Europe. Uh, we are in the very green uh, part of Moscow, and uh, uh, in our main building you will spend your first three years and last three years you will spend in hospitals all around the Moscow. Uh, hostel is uh, in two walking minutes uh, near the main building of university and it is very, very uh, important for uh, first years of education to be near the university, not to spend a lot of time uh, for traffic. Uh, what about uh, prices and scholarships? Now, we are uh, working in the system of government of the Russian Federation scholarship. Uh, the system now uh, with the name Future in Russia. As far as I know now, uh, the application period is closed for this system and for the next year, uh, you can apply from the December. Uh, 
Uh, we provide our own scholarship, but the scholarship only from fourth year for excellent students who um, have additional achievements in science, sport or social life. And if you close uh, your semester for the excellent result uh, from the first year, you can get a 10% discount. What about fees? Fees will be published on our website in May uh, 2021. For previous year, you can see uh, our fees on the slide. But of course, uh, economic changes, pandemic uh, influence of the situation. So I uh, promise you that we will publish uh, all information about fees till the end of May. Uh, what about steps, what to do uh, and how to apply to university? Uh, I need to mention that we work with recruiting companies, but uh, we are open for students without any uh, support of recruiting companies. So you, it's your choice how to apply to university. Now, the first the step, uh, you need to get the invitation for visa. And uh, on our uh, website, you can apply with all documents for invitation for visa. Invitation for a visa will be provided from the university free of charge. It, uh, no money for invitation, but you need to understand that you need to wait at least one month to get the invitation. Invitation will provide you from the university in an electronic system, in an electronic format. You can print it out and apply to the embassy for visa. Uh, when you get uh, visa, uh, you can apply with all documents for university. Uh, today we are not clear with the situation of pandemic and if uh, countries will be still closed and uh, if uh, visas will be not provided for you, you can apply online without visa. Uh, you can apply from the 20th of June and if you choose the Russian language program, you can apply to the uh, 18th of August. For the English language programs, you can apply to the 15th of October. Uh, you can apply personally or you can apply online, but not by email. The application system will be open on the 20th of June. And please do not send us your documents by email. We will not look through them and we will not uh, accept this way of application. What documents you need? You need uh, your passport, a copy of visa if you are from the country uh, and you need a visa or if you uh, if countries will open. You need a copy of birth certificate if uh, the name uh, in passport are different with the name of the Education certificate, if you have the same name in the passport and educational certificate, uh, we will not ask you for the birth certificate. Copy of educational certificate, all pages the school provides you. Uh, unfortunately, international students, I don't know why, uh, usually provides us only one list uh, or two lists, but a school uh, gives you much more documents. Copy of certificate of recognition of foreign education in Russian Federation, if needed, and you can check uh, by the link on the slide uh, documents from your country need this recognition or not. Copy of voluntary medical insurance policy by, uh, valid in the Russian Federation, and you need to understand that uh, if you will be a student of medical university, you need to pass a lot of medical exams and a lot of medical uh, analysis. And it will be much more suitable for you if you choose the voluntary medical insurance policy covered all these uh, analysis and um, uh, consultations and 
case you choose a very cheap uh, insurance policy, you will pay additionally for all analysis. For photos uh, and medical documents, HIV analysis, X-ray of chest and uh, conclusion from general practitioner. For all documents uh, which are not in Russian, you need translations into Russian certified by Russian notary or council of the Russian Federation and you need to check uh, that uh, surname, first name and patronic name if any uh, in translations the same spelling as in visa. You uh, need to uh, lay on the spelling in visa and when you get visa you need to check spelling is it okay and is it the same and no mistakes in spelling uh, your name in, in visa because to change visa in your country in your embassy in a, in case of any mistake much more easy than to change uh, these uh, documents in Russia what about entrance exams for Russian language programs for most of programs chemistry biology and Russian language for uh, and exams will be in Russian for English programs for most of programs chemistry and biology and exams will be in English uh, all our entrance exams are computer testing minimum score for each exam you need to reach at least 50 uh, and um, maximum 100 uh, an applicant shall take each entrance exam only once no additional possibilities and no rare examinations uh, if countries will open exams will be in university if countries will close exams will be online but under proctoring system electronic and personally from professors of our university and you have no possibility to use any additional electronic devices use help of any other people in any way uh, and we will control this situation and if we will find some um, uh, using of electronic devices or help of other people or other problems with uh, you passing our exam we will stop exam and you will not uh, have any possibility to get another attempt uh, for helping you to prepare for exams uh, we organize a testing system on our website you can uh, go through link to Russian or to English version of exams you have unlimited attempts different question and opportunity to get an estimate and each time the system will generate you a new list of questions after you complete uh, this list of questions the system will uh, provide you your mark and will uh, uh, show you what question you answer correct and which qu uh, question you are uh, were non correct. Uh, the system will not provide you correct answers, but on the same page of our university, uh, you can sh uh, find the programs of exams where uh, you can find all. Uh, points about exams, all uh, methods of calculation, their mark, and everything about exams. Uh, if you still have any question, you can ask a question from our website and I will answer you. And also you can apply for email and uh, WhatsApp or Telegram or by phone and uh, uh, we will answer you. But please, from the very beginning, please read information of website. Please look through this video. And only if you still ha have questions or you have additional questions, please ask us. Because most of questions that I have, how to apply to university. I hope that I provide enough information for you and answer this question. Thank you very much.